hey what's going on so i had recorded a video and it got a little messed up so i'm gonna do this one again the first one i thought was good but maybe it was a little bit too long so i'm gonna make this one a little bit more poignant so what i was talking about because this is a lock channel and i haven't come on here a long in a long time but i felt like you know I, I had a reason to come on today you know other than talking about locks you know i just carry this book around it's called what is peace there's like a series called what is peace which love what is something else but you know, sometimes you want to pick up something, you just want to read it and get inspired. So, um, I just flip through it. I don't read through it like a book, like uh, you know, because that's not what I wanted it for. I wanted to just to, you know, put a little words in your on your on your spirit, you know. Um, and so on this particular day, this particular passage, um, this book is all about peace. So that's the main topic but on this page it said peace is silence without anxiousness peace is reaching with love peace is letting it be the way it is peace is the rhythm of one foot in front of the other peace feeling vulnerable and showing it peace is paying attention to your children your spouse and your friends without trying to control them Peace is relishing small pleasures. Peace is reaching the summit and not having to show a photo. Just just go and just, I'm adding this part. You just go and experience it. It's not about sharing it. It's you. Peace is relishing small pleasures. I'm going to read that again. Peace is reaching the summit and not having to show the photos. Peace is community at work. Peace is napping through a thunderstorm. Peace is Vigilance with your integrity and forgiving yourself when it slips. Peace is not being too big or too small, but just the right size. Peace is one place. Though the path and the destination look different each to each of us. Good book. That's the author. But I don't even have to be that book. Find something that inspires your quote, a saying, a passage you know, scripture, um, something that, you know, you can focus on and bring you through your day. But for me right now is peace. You know, we, we go out here and we, we can strive to have more money. We can strive to have more sex or we can strive to have a better plate of food. But for me, it's just about peace. You know, I just want to be at peace. I want people when they, to when they come into my space, to leave feeling peaceful. I don't want you to leave me feeling anxious. You know, you ever go around somebody and they make you feel anxious. You just, you don't know why you flustered at this point, you know, or if you were challenged with some stuff, they made it worse. <laughs> you know, um, somebody should come into your space and feel inspired. You know, you should help them be uplifted. You should help them be elevated. You know, we all going through something, but if somebody, if you're blessed to have somebody in your space, just just lift it up. Lift that woman up a little bit. Don't bring it down. We all have the opportunity to either elevate or to bring it down. You know, <sighs> make a point to elevate it, elevate a moment, bring it up and it could help you. You might not be feeling your greatest in the moment. You might not be feeling your best today, but if you encounter someone else or you have the pleasure or the blessing or the opportunity to experience another person another group of people bring it up bring it up lift it up celebrate life and maybe it might help you you know sometimes i'm my funniest when i'm feeling my lowest i'm my most inspirational when i'm feeling my lowest you know i'm Talk to others as I'm talking to myself. Because on YouTube, you're really just talking to yourself. But anyway, I'm not going to keep going no further. I just wanted to share that. But this is a lock channel. These are my locks. Um, we just we just good old friends at this point. You know, it, it ain't nothing to um, to fuss over. You know, I go get them retight when I have to. And I leave them alone all, most of the time. You know, so there they go. There they go, just old my old locks. I don't have any issues. Um, other than when the seasons change, you go from 
being really dry in the winter time I know for me and then not so dry in this summer warmer month so you have to just ease up on the oils and just kind of get a new kind of routine um I've been washing my hair a little bit more frequently because I like to work outside and I don't necessarily cover my hair all the time you know because it's hot <laughs> so I rinse them more frequently which it's fine they're 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 not going to come up but it tends to you know when you're using tap water it has a chlorine so it's drying so I have to get the I had to get the hydration right you know and um other than that everything is good I have my little three sterling silver things here which adds a little style you know it got a little pizzazz a little flavor to whatever aesthetic you try and get off get get off or get off or whatever but anyway this is the front it's the side it's the back it's the other side and it's the front again yeah, so locks are doing good. I'm focusing, as I said, on my goal, which is to be more peaceful and more at peace. And I think once my spirit gets there, then everything else is achievable, you know? Um, like, I can't focus on losing weight because we can all see that I've gained some weight until I get to a better peaceful place where I want to eat right you know when you when you're not at peace it's easy for you to do things like go eat a pizza because it brings you contentment but when you're content then you're like give me the salad <laughs> and the balsamic dressing because you know you're eating for all the right reasons you know so it was one thing before the other you know um so that's me and what I got going on I hope what you got going on is just as achievable, you know, just as, you know, um, uh, what is it? Accomplishable is not a word. But I hope it's something that you can actually accomplish. Don't make your goal so unreachable that you just like, ah, I'm never going to make it. If you make it so that you can actually achieve it, then you know, it might just happen for you, you know, but sometimes we sabotage ourselves. Here's a, here's a hint to know that I'm going to bring it back to weight and self image. If you have a length of a full length mirror in your room or even a mirror that, you know, is maybe waist high and you notice that you, you've blocked portions of, okay. So the mirror was at one time the full length of the mirror, but now you notice that every time you walk past, you can only see part of yourself. That's your subconscious mind. I don't know if it's protection or is or or whatever it is, but just just make note of that. You know, there's things moving on different levels. There's a conscious thing you're the part of you that you're control over you have control over and then that's that part of you that kind of like moves without you involuntarily you can't really control that part you know like dreaming we don't we don't control our dreams we can kind of shift them and, and direct them we think we can but sometimes we're placed in these spaces for a reason and it's for us to be present and vigilant and and kind of understand so in your space, in your room, in your sanctuary, if you notice that things are are in a disarray or or are blocked off and you've created this unhealthy routine, make note of that so you can make a change. God bless you. Happy growing. Peace and blessings. Enjoy this Sunday afternoon. Go into Monday motivated. Let it be a motivating Monday. All right.